What's up guys and welcome back. In today's tutorial we're going to be going over how to partition your SD card to work with links to SD as well as how to flash a custom ROM onto your phone. For today's tutorial we're going to assume that you already have your phone rooted as well as you have the clockwork mod installed and your custom image backed up in case things go wrong. So with that out of the way we'll get things moving. All the links that you'll need for this tutorial will be down in the description. First thing you're going to want to do is visit the first link in the description. You're going to want to come over here and download this mini tool partition wizard home edition from CNET is the link that I have. Once you have that downloaded, you'll want to go ahead and run the program and let it boot up for the first time. Then you can exit out of it. After you're done with that, you'll want to visit the second link. This is a link to unleash prepaids. You can find a lot of useful information over here. There's a lot of developers as well as modders for phones. Um, if it was me, I'd come over here and go ahead and sign up for the website. That way, if you have any questions, you'll be able to ask them and they can help you out with it. But once you're here, you're going to want to scroll down to this part of the page. You're going to want to download this ROM. Wait for that to finish downloading. Then you'll want to visit the third link in the description. This, this link is optional. This is so that you can have the multiple input on the phone where you can zoom in by pinching and zoom out. Um, you'll want to download this link here. Scroll down the page until you get to this part. Download this link here. Once they're all downloaded, we'll get on with the video. All right, so that we now that we've downloaded everything, I would highly recommend that you come to your desktop, you make a folder. Inside that folder, you're going to want to put the last two downloads that we downloaded. First off, the ROM, and then second, the kernel. Once you have that set up, we'll be ready to move on to our mini tool partition wizard and set up our SD card so that we can use links to SD. All right, so now we have our folder set up with our ROM and our kernel inside of it. Once you have that, you're going to want to plug your phone into your computer, and you're going to want to set it up so that you can transfer files to and from your computer from your phone once you put it in debug mode or USB mode go ahead and open the mini tool partition wizard as you'll see there are a bunch of stuff comes up this is for your computer you're going to want to locate your SD card once you find your SD card this is mine here we're going to go ahead we're going to delete everything off of the SD card before we do that I might want to note that you may want to back up any photos or any apps or anything that you have saved on your SD card so that you don't have to mess with it later Alright, so now that you've done that, we're ready to partition our SD card to work with Lynx SD. We're going to want to right-click it, click Create. We're going to make it a primary, FAT32. As you can see, i got 3.69 gigs, so I'm going to set mine up with 1.90, and that'll leave me with, I'm not sure how much left. Next, you'll see that this slot down here says it's unallocated. We'll right-click it again, click Create click yes to the prompt this drive will make a primary and we'll label this ext2 just leave it as it is as you see we have 1.79 gigs left for all our apps and things that will be installing on our phone once we have that done we'll simply just want to come up here click apply click yes wait for it to do its thing once it's done we'll get on with the video all right, so we're done partitioning our SD card. Now we're ready to move on to the next step. You'll still want to leave your phone plugged in and everything. You'll want to go down to your start button, click computer. You'll want to go to the disk part that we just partitioned. Double click it. Set it to the side, whatever's convenient for you. I'll have to move mine over a little bit. Now what we're going to want to do is go in here. We're going to want to put our ROM on here first. That'll take a second to transfer over onto the SD card. Once that's finished transferring over, we'll want to drop down and next move our kernel over. I'll resume the video once this uh, finishes copying over. It seems like my computer's running a little slow today. All right, so we successfully transferred our ROM onto our SD card. Now we'll want to simply drag and drop our kernel over just like we did the ROM. Wait for that to finish copying. Once that's done, we can go ahead and exit out of all that. Now we're going to want to go to our phone. We're going to want to unlock it, however you got to unlock it. Mine takes a second. And we'll want to turn off the USB storage. And then we'll resume the video and we'll be ready to flash the ROM. Alright, so as you can see now, I've had to move to my video camera. For the next step, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hold your power button down, however. You're going to want to power off your phone click OK, wait for your phone to shut down, then we're going to boot into recovery mode once that's finished. OK, 
Okay, as you can see, we're shut down to boot and to recover. We do that by holding the volume up button and the power button at the same time. Continue to hold them. Continue to hold them until it goes into recovery mode. Don't let go. Take up to approximately 10 seconds. As you can see, we're now in recovery mode. What we're going to want to do now is format our SD card and set it up and wipe all our old information so that we're ready to go. First, you're going to want to go to data, wipe, slash factory reset, delete all this, wait for the prompts to finish saying it's done. Could take a second. All right, now that that's done, we're going to want to go to wipe cache partition, wipe the cache. We do all this by using the volume up and down buttons and use the power button to select. Next, we'll go to Advanced. We'll wipe our Delvic cache. That's completed. Go back. Now we'll go to Mounts and Storage. Wait a second, let me go back, make sure that we got everything. Yeah, now we're going to Mounts and Storage. We're going to want to format our boot. Click OK. That's done. Then we'll want to format our cache. Done. Format data. And last but not least, format the system. Now that that's done, we'll go back. We'll scroll down to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Locate our Cynogen 7.2 Extreme.zip. Click yes to install. Sorry if there's a glare or anything on this. And we'll wait for that to finish installing. I'll resume the video once that's finished installing. Okay, as you can see, we're done installing that zip. Now we'll go back, click reboot our system now. It's going to take quite a while for the phone to probably to boot up. Um, it usually does this when you flash a new custom ROM on here. So don't freak out and take the battery out. Give it some time. And once it starts to boot up, I'll resume the video and show you guys that we're booting into the Cynogen mod. As you can see now, our phone's starting to boot. You can see it's a Cynogen mod 7. It may take a while at this screen as well to get into the actual phone. Don't freak out. Don't panic. It will eventually boot up. It has a lot of um, things that has to run at this time. I'll resume again once it gets going. Just wanted to show you guys that it actually is loading. Alright, as you can see, we're at the home screen now. I'm going to cut out this part of the video. You have to register your Google account and everything. And once we get to where the phone actually boots up, I'll resume the video. Sorry if it's blurry, guys. Having a hard time with this camera. As you can see, I went through the whole setup process. Our phone's now booted up. We're ready to go. Once you're ready, you're going to want to hit your app drawer. Go to links to SD. Wait for this to go. Allow super user. We set up our SD's extension on the EXT2, so we'll just click OK. Now we have to wait for the device to reboot. Shouldn't take as long this time to reboot, so we'll go ahead and just sit through the prompts here. Sorry if I'm kind of nasal and everything. I think I'm getting a cold. Actually, we'll just wait for it to reboot, and I'll resume the video once it reboots. It's taken quite a while. All right, so as you can see, we finally rebooted. Took quite a while. Don't freak out. Again, we'll click Links SD. Should now pop up. Oh, we've made a mistake somewhere. We'll go with EXT3 and try it again. Looks like we're going to have to reboot our device. Again, we'll have to wait for the prompts. After it reboots, go back into links to SD. You'll now be greeted with this screen telling you what's new and what not. Click OK. Now to set this up, we'll hit our button here. Um, you can see the storage info. But we're going to want to go to our settings. Click settings, click auto link. Make sure all three of those are checked. Go back. Auto link notifications fine. Then you can decide whether where you would like it to store. 
I set mine to automatic so that it decides so that my library files don't accidentally get linked and they're not supposed to be like for Facebook. Once you're done with that, we can go back in here, click storage info. You can then um, click more. You can do clear all app caches. Completed successfully. As you see, we have 67% internal memory, which isn't too bad. Once you're done with that, now we're ready to install that multi-touch kernel. Um, just for the video sake, I'll show you guys that the kernel is not installed by default. We'll go ahead and just take a picture of any anything blacker. Let me get something with color real quick. We'll just take a picture of that. All right. So we got a picture. I'll show you guys that multi-touch is not installed by default. As you can see, it just goes picture to picture when we try to pinch zoom. So we'll get out of that. Now we're ready to flash our kernel. To do this, again, you'll want to power off the phone. Wait for the phone to shut down. Sorry if I don't have the phone in the screen the whole time. Once it's powered down, again, we'll want to boot into recovery by holding the volume up button and holding the power button. Continue to hold it until you boot into recovery. Once in recovery, scroll down to install zip from SD card. Choose your zip. Select the kernel. Click yes. Wait for it to finish its thing. Go back. Reboot the system again. Shouldn't take as long because this isn't a ROM. Shouldn't take nearly as long for the phone to boot up, so we'll try to sit here and wait through the prompts. Just to show you guys that it works. Oh, this poor shitty camera. Sorry guys for the camera. As you can see, it's booting up. Shouldn't take nearly as long. Alright. Go ahead and go into our screen here. Now we'll go to Quick Pick. And I'll show you guys that picture that we previously had on here before. go open it up and I'll show you guys that the zoom does work now it works on web pages as well but that wraps this tutorial up hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to leave them below like I said that's all I got this has been too cold and I'm out peace